Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Now let's start and I will shuffle the deck for you four times. So let's see, let's start with uh, what may have happened in the past. What may have happened in the past, so you better know if this is your reading. What were the challenges? Okay, a person that was quite detached and cold and not expressing feelings, or they may have been even mean with their words. Quite sarcastic person for some of them. and. Not willing to take responsibility for their behavior, not apologizing, not expressing uh, of being sorry when they did something wrong, or not expressing much feelings there. And you many times may have felt quite uh, empty, or not being cared enough, not being shown much affection by this person. Now let's see about your current energies. You want to be in a connection, but uh, for first you, you need to get over this past situation. You don't like that you may be thinking a lot about this past situation. You want to get over it. You want to leave the past behind and start a new chapter, start something completely new. Yes, your focus, I think it is on being in a relationship, in a healthy, stable relationship as soon as possible, with the right partner as well. Now let's see about what may be affecting you in your subconscious. The fact that now you want something fair, you want a harmonious, a teamwork connection, and sometimes you, you may be thinking it was karma into action. Uh, it may have been a karmic relationship and that past connection was meant to happen like that. Maybe for you to uh, learn some lessons, for you to sharpen your uh, intuitive uh, skills, to notice red flags better and maybe to find that perfect uh, new partner. Now let's see about uh, how do you view the situation. You had high hopes for this past connection, maybe some of you were married. It seemed like uh, a perfect couple, a perfect family, if it resonates. But some secrets that uh, came to light destroyed everything. Now let's see more details about the focus and what are your hopes. Your hope is to see things moving forward in a positive way. You want to change this complete energy and situation. And you want to avoid a person that cheats, lies, lies and avoids you and is not transparent and is not uh, straightforward. Because we have the Seven of Swords here and you want to avoid such a person. I think uh, this this energy may mirror this past connection where they may have lied or cheated unfortunately let's see what is your energy for the second week of april there's some communication happening there You may communicate with a spouse person or there may be some realization, I think, that uh, you can just only be friends with them and nothing else. Maybe there's no possible possibility about, about being in a relationship with them again. And you may realize that this person that is turning their back to you, the best case scenario would be to remain friends with them. And there's some clarity that may come to you for the second week 
of April. Now let's see what is uh, their energy at this moment towards you. What is their energy at this moment towards you? This person may live in a distance from you, but they are feeling hopeless. Hopeless about this relationship. They don't see it going anywhere or being successful, but still they want to talk. <clears throat> they want to break the silence and have a conversation with you. That's what I'm getting. You may... You may have a conversation with this person. Someone may decide to talk to each other in order to gain clarity. And it may start with a friendly message. But I'm getting also the possibility with the three of ones in the reverse that uh, the other person that gets the message may ignore and not uh, reply. Now let's see, will they take actions? What are their possible actions towards you for the time frame of this reading? They have been watching you with a desire to talk, but they still have come into a conclusion that being in a relationship with you uh, would not be the best option because they see the connection being uh, destroyed or having low chances for being successful again that's how they view it that's why they want to remain single from that connection but still they want to talk they have been watching you for quite some time they are still watching you i think maybe in social media or asking friends of friends they have a desire to communicate that's what i'm getting and they want to break the silence they want to break the silence and talk but do they have any feelings left there i will continue this reading in the extended with more details how does your person feel now how do they view you what are their intentions and the energies of you them and the connection if you want to watch the extended you can find it now in the description box below see you the next reading and bye for